The fighting in the Kursk region continues and now the Ukrainian armed forces are advancing on another key city, Korenevo. This is the conclusion reached by military analyst of the German publication Bild, Julian Robka. He noted that the videos published yesterday from the city of Sudza confirm the control of the Ukrainian armed forces over this important city near the border. Before the war, about 5,000 people lived in Sudza, and it is the largest settlement in the Russian Federation that is controlled by Ukraine. The German analyst considers it noteworthy that the published footage from Sudza does not show any destruction at all. In total, Ukrainian analysts announced the establishment of control over 44 settlements in the Kursk region as of yesterday, which is approximately 5% of their total number in the region. Based on other videos that have appeared online, Robka concludes that heavy fighting is taking place approximately 20 kilometers south of Sudza. The analyst does not name a specific settlement, but it is likely the regional center of Belaya. Fighting is also taking place 6 kilometers east of Sudza. The German analyst believes that Chechen Akhmat units are also fighting there. On the opposite flank, 30 kilometers north of Sudza, the Ukrainian armed forces are advancing on the regional center of Korenevo and trying to expand their bridgehead, the analyst believes. Footage published by the Russian armed forces shows Russian drones attacking Ukrainian mechanized units to the south and east of the village. At least one Ukrainian BTR-4 has been destroyed and another has been captured by Russian troops, although the Russians themselves claim to have destroyed or captured 10 Ukrainian armored personnel carriers. If Ukraine succeeds in taking these settlements, it will be a terrible failure for Vladimir Putin, writes Julian Roka. American analysts consider the Ukrainian armed forces offensive in the Kursk region a huge gamble. In their opinion, the Ukrainian armed forces losses near Kursk could be quite large and the effect for Russia relatively insignificant. In this case, the offensive in the Kursk region will finally undermine Ukraine's ability to hold the front in Donbass. Ukrainian defenders not only know how to fight, but they also have a very good sense of humor. This is evidenced by the video that appeared on the internet. In the video, Ukrainian servicemen parody Prigozhin, who at one time constantly demanded shells from the Wagner Group, from Shoigu and Gerasimov, the Ukraine 365 channel reports. Recall in May of last year, Wagner chief Yevgeny Prigozhin had announced the mercenary group will retreat from Bakhmut if it doesn't receive critical ammunition supplies. Standing in front of his armed men, he claimed the Russian Ministry of Defense had created an artificial ammunition deficit, despite stocks being available in warehouses. So our losses were much higher than they should have been, he added. Ukrainian defenders recalled this. The Ukrainian defenders also pretend to ask for just two tanks as reinforcements. Meanwhile, the Russian Ministry of Defense has urgently begun to form a new Kursk battalion. The news was shared on social media pages by mothers of conscripts from military unit 34667. Moreover, the new battalion began to be formed on August the 3rd, three days before the Ukrainian armed forces broke through the border. Parents of conscripts are calling for an end to sending their children to combat zones because they have not yet completed the required four-month young fighter courses. 
At the same time, the soldiers' mothers petitioned Putin to recall from Kursk those who were called up to the ranks of the Russian armed forces in 2023 to 2024. And one of the wives of a Russian armed forces prisoner of war went on a solo picket to the Russian Defense Ministry building in Moscow. She demanded that her husband be exchanged for one of the captured Azov soldiers. Earlier, we reported that the Ukrainian Armed Forces Aviation carried out strikes against military facilities of the enemy army in the territory of Tetkino in the Kursk region. Let us recall that the Kremlin urgently began to transfer to the Kursk region not only reserves from the south of Ukraine, but also from Kaliningrad.